All right, it looks like we're live. Good evening, everyone. I am Will, or Dark, and I'm going to be just playing some Borderlands 1, just for the fun of it. Going to be doing some uh, Jacob's Cove stuff on the uh, zombie island of Dr. Ned. I want to keep going through and play through one because I don't want to start the game over again. I've already started some of the uh, introductory quests here, so if you're not familiar with it, I'll get a little run in here. I arrived at Jacob's Cove to be pleasantly informed that the place is overrun by zombies. Oh no! Oh look, and they put me all the way out here, so I'll probably have to fight through some zombies to get back to Jacob's Cove. Nice place, by the way. Too spooky. Too spooky. Alright, let's see. So after settling up some Gatling gun turrets in the main part of town, I set that up as a safe place and went to meet Dr. Ned, who was not at his infirmary. So now I have to go and find him at his home, which of course means fighting my way through zombies. Yay, zombies! It's interesting because there was nothing like zombies in any other part of the game. Zombies there. I die. Okay. And you too. There we go. Alright, any other zombies? Oh, of course. Ah. Aw, that gooped on. There are these defiler zombies back there that uh are pretty nasty at uh, gooping me up there. Pretty gross. Yeah, the uh, goop they drop uh, slows me down and makes it harder to see. And these zombie brains? No idea what I need them for yet. I'm sure something will come up at some point. Oh, geez, they are not playing nice today. That's better. Bomber. Assault rifle. I don't need assault rifles. I don't use assault rifles. There are a lot more zombies than I remember there being. I'm probably remembering it wrong. Ah, more zombies! <coughs> face! That was gross. I think I just got zombie guts all over the place. Come on. See, I don't. Should be used to that with this game by now. It likes to uh, really swarm the NPCs on you. All right, I just want to get back into town. Let's see. Hop my way down here. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm playing as Mordecai the Hunter, and I focused on the gunslinger perks. So I'm mostly going to be using handguns, but I do uh, use a sniper rifle from now and then, time to time. I don't know how well it'll work against zombies. Certainly likes to work against armed opponents, but zombies don't carry guns. I hope, I really hope zombies don't carry guns in here. I haven't found any. I found some with explosives, but not guns. Alright, I didn't even know Claptrap's wore contact lenses, but alright then. Let's get rid of this crap. Cheap rifle, sounds good. Nice. Alright, so, these are the turrets I had to reprogram. First time in the game, they've been friendly. Usually those lasers meant death to me. Alright, so I've got a revolver, a repeater pistol, a sniper rifle, and an Iridian energy cannon. Don't know how useful that's going to be. But we'll stick with the pistols for now. That's where I got my highest ranking on. Alright, those corpse eater birds are leaving me alone, so I'll leave them alone. And make my way over to... Where, where do I need to go? Over there. I need to go to the next location. I think it's Hollow's End. To find... Dr. Ned. I also have another side quest over there. But... I think we will probably go with Dr. Ned. I do not want to go down. Uh, 
We're down. We're down. They, yeah, they don't want to go down. Zombies, am I right? No respect. Nothing but eat your face. Alright, that's where I need to go, I think. And I think I have to walk up from well, I don't know how to get up over there. I go around this way. Hmm. Let's try going down here. Oh! I completely what, I like know that? I one shot that guy. Figures, right? Oh. Fowlers are the ones that shoot that gross slime and stuff out. Slows me down. I can't go slow. I have places to be. Zombies to kill. Oh, I woke up the whole neighborhood, didn't I? Bottom there, you'll notice a little compass. All those little red diamonds on them are all the bad guys that'll see me. There's a whole bunch of them. Right where I need to go. Give me a grenade to help. Those are transfusion grenades, so they will home out and hit enemies. Oh, oh geez. That's what I don't like about little compasses. It doesn't tell me when enemies are behind me. There, I just used uh, Bloodwing, my special ability in the game. I send out a bird to F people up. He's, uh, not all that good, honestly. But, oh. Ah, oh. 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 see, now I'm really slow. Ah, oh. now I'm really slow. Don't like going slow. At all. Now, I don't know what these zombie brains are for. That trophy usually means quest item. A little trophy there. But I have no clue. I don't have any quests to get these zombie brains. I have no idea how many zombie brains I have because it doesn't keep track of quest items in the inventory. So I'm hoping at some point I'll figure out what I need these zombie brains for. Generally, hospital. That's not disconcerting at all. I guess I could have gone around up here. Oh well. One way or the other, I'll make my way to probably more zombies. Need to reload anything? Yep. Hollow's End. Of course. Probably should be playing this game next month, but oh well, I wanted to play it now. Halloween comes early. With zombies. Hooray zombies! And loading screens. Alright, Outpost Ed Swamp. Creepy Treehouse or Hollow's End? Well. Wow. Ooh, and vending machines. I probably need some more. Ooh, longbow grenades. Do more damage, but I don't get the health steal. Hmm. I think I'll stick with what I've got. And again, I think I'll stick with what I've got. All my stuff is better. Do I need more ammunition? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, I'll fall. And I'll fall. There we go. If you hear any conversation in the background, that is my partner Ed. He's playing Minecraft 1.8. Check it out. There's new stuff. Lava. The deadliest predator of all. Lava zombies. That'd be cool. I oh, there's a, there's a lot of zombies down there. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna go fire that off. Yeah, that worked. I got one. Advanced alien technology killed a zombie. Oh, a psycho zombie! That's right. Some of the enemies from earlier parts of the game now appear as zombies. Kind of like that. We all like zombies. We all like the psychos in this game. Played it. Very interesting enemy. 
Let's make a first person shooter game and make one of the enemies melee only. Or suicidal. Sometimes they just like to blow themselves up. One thing I should probably figure out is where am I going? Alright, so that's where I gotta meet Dr. Ned. Out of curiosity, where's the pumpkin head quest where I must kill the guy named. Oh, that's further away. Yeah, we'll. We'll go talk to Ned. Uh, hopefully, I can make my way straight through. There's a little outpost up there with. I don't even know. Some kind of shiny things. That, that didn't really help. Uh, generators or something. No idea what those are about. But look, more zombies. They don't see me, but they'll probably... Uh, boop! Boop! What? Boop! Ah! Oh. Close. Go away. Let's go. No more zombies. There they are. Ooh. No, no. One thing I don't like about this game is the inaccuracy of sniper rifles. And the fact that most of them only have a 1x zoom. Seriously, 1x, sniper rifle. I need better range than that. Alright, money, got me some zombie brains. Some more ammo, I'm assuming some of those zombies came out of there. This game likes to have enemies come out of holes and crevices and doorways all over the place. Oh, it's a little jack-o'-lantern something over there. How festive! What? Did you, like, did you see that? He teleported. You like that? Oh, there's a whole bunch coming. Oh, there's... Oh, those are the files quick, too. Fast. Go away. Go away. Or zombie brains. I couldn't even tell you how many zombie brains I have. Whole bunch. Alright, I feel like I don't want to go towards the, uh, the jack o' lantern over there. It's kind of creepy. Freaking me out a little bit. Oh, that's something else I want to check. Abilities! Alright, I have this set for fire. Good. I was told that acid does not work so well on the zombies. I guess that makes sense. They're already rotting flesh. Oh, well that's super. I need to get up there and of course can't go through the short way. That would be too easy. I guess I gotta go past the creepy jack-o'-lantern. On. Yay, more ammo. I say, I do love this area. It's very different from the rest of Borderlands, which was mostly desert wastelands and giant garbage dumps. And then we get this place with creepy dead trees and an eerie mist. It's nothing like the rest of... Oh, look at that. Right the ground. Nothing like the rest of Pandora that you see up to this point in Borderlands 1. A little jarring, but in a good way. Alright, yep. Smiler. And now a... Oh! Suicide zombies! Haha! <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't even want to know what's in those big barrels they carry. But I'm sure it won't me up. Somebody's coming up behind me. Sneaky little prick. Do anything. One problem I have with him is. Ah, oh, again. I'm gross. Keep vomiting on me. 
I mean, there's root and then there's root. Still right there. Oh, half as hell. Oh, it's better than nothing. I swear, Bloodwing. I thought it would be cool to have Bloodwing. Bird flies around, dive bomb my enemies. Yeah, half the time he does nothing. What the hell was that? Sometimes I pick stuff up faster than I need to. Blast. Oh, it's a revolver. Is it better than my revolver? Eh, no. Not even close. Uh, what's this? What's this? This is a sniper rifle. Much better. Even if that one does electricity damage. I don't care so much about dealing elemental damage as much as I do about killing people in as few shots as possible. You may notice I will not use shotguns, combat rifles, uh, SMGs. Uh, uh, Mordecai really isn't skilled to use those. A lot of his skill abilities focus on uh, pistols, sniper rifles, and things like that. So that's what I'm going with. You can see, oh, I'm up to 18 with pistols and 14 with sniper rifles. So, yeah. That's another thing I noticed about this game, leveling up with weapons. Am I even going the right way? I guess so. Alright, there's a drain pipe. I was, I was mentioning something. What did I say? Creepy treehouse. Oh! Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a creepy treehouse. I like how it's got festive Christmas tree lights on it. That's, uh... You know, it sets the mood. Thomas, <laughs> please. Personal space. No. I can't see it, I can't move. Oh. Oh. oh, that guy's got one of those spear helmets. There we go. No respect for personal space at all. There's another zombie lurking about, so. Oh, there he is. There we go. That's better. But I was, I, I am so easily distracted. I was saying something about something, and now I don't remember what it was. Uh, where the hell do I get? Oh, I gotta cross the bridge. See this? I gotta go down all this way, and up this way, and over this way, and I gotta go the long way. It can never be the easy way. This place is pretty creepy. Nothing like the rest of Borderlands, which is all fairly bright and I mean it wasn't really pleasant because it had like bandits and whatnot trying to kill me all the time but you know bandits zombies these are probably zombie bandits what's that there we go Follow the creepy jack o -lanterns. What the hell? It's a torso. It's literally torso. Alright. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Zombies don't exactly need legs to survive. He's coming at me. He's coming out. I've been spotted. Oh, what the? Oh, it's a midget zombie. It's different. 
There's nothing like that in the other part of Borderlands. Oh, that guy was fast. Slime stuff really gets you. You like the guard? Ow! Oh shit! Ah, I'm dying! Okay, didn't I? Alright, suddenly things have taken a turn for the worse. That was almost really bad. Like, wow, I actually almost died from zombies. You've seen it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Near death by- Ah, oh, I don't have any med kits. Well, bugger all. I don't have to kill zombies in order to get health. Or get lucky enough to find some meds. Of course, I'm not going to find What time did I start this recording? I don't even know. I set it to only record for uh, an hour. I was only going to go for an hour. Who made that man a gunner? Who like, completed a challenge? That's one thing I've been trying to, probably trying to say that Borderlands 2 used an actual mini-map, which gave you a 3D representation of the area around you, let you know when enemies were sneaking up behind you. This one gives you that little compass on the bottom there, which uh, kind of tells you when enemies are sneaking up on you, but not really, because you can only see so much in front of you, like psycho zombies. Psycho zombie zombie psycho zombie. No, you're not. I'm gonna come to the bridge now. Suck on that zombie. Healing! Death bridge! <laughs> if you have to kill your zombies, kill them. Oh shit! Oh shit! He freaking threw that at me. Oh. Alright, so this is what happens when I get back in the house, okay? I get uh, swarmed by zombies, more zombies coming up behind me! Freaking zombies! Coming from everywhere! Death bridge indeed! Bridge of my death! I am the victor. To the victor go the brains, apparently. Yummy zombie brains. And hey, I got my health back. You're wondering how, it's because one of my perks allows me to gain gradual health when I kill things. It's pretty useful, assuming I manage to kill things. That, that. Take that. That was a lot of zombies. Take that. And I don't know what those zombie brains are for, but I'm gonna grab them. Cause they gotta be for something. I mean, I would maybe collect them for no reason, right? Hope. Sometimes I feel like this is the worst shot in the world. This is better ammo oops any ammo in here any good ammo in here yeah the ammo lady. all right 
So, uh, oh, you just sounded all kinds of horrible. Alright, so we got a flashing thing over there. So, uh, this must be where I have to go after killing these up. Oh! I oh! Pay more attention to my surroundings, shouldn't I? Ah! Plan for that. All going part of my plan. Okay. See? Everything's good. Zombies are dead. I assume. They look dead. Wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be some kind of boss here. I'm gonna lower the try to open the door or something and some Uber zombie's gonna pop out and try to kill me. Because that's just how games work. Sweet, you made it all the way here alive. I I'll get the lift down, but it'll probably take a bit to hand crank the bastard all the way to you. Probably want to shoot any of those skull munchers that trottle in. Yeah, that's all that comes. I'm going to have to. What the? Okay, there was. Oh! Tankenstein! Fast as these old oh, want to get hey. so, this is I can't I, Okay, this is the definition of bad. Oh yeah, I'm dying. Second. Alright, alright. Let's slip away. Alright. Go away, go away, go away. Let me take tank is time. Badass tank. Better. Right. Come on, don't act like you've never had to wait on a hand-cranked elevator during a zombie outbreak before. Jeez. You know what, Ned? Ned? Dr. Ned? Not Dr. Ned. I have not. This is a, a first for me. There were a few more zombies. That, that tank in Stein was really rough, though. He kind of just popped up right next to me. I was just... Almost. I'm getting there. Keep your shirt on. Thank you. Oh, son of a bitch. I dropped the dump waiter. My hand just let go. I'll get you. Oh, there's on. another tank and stuff. That's, that's, that's. Super. Oh, oh they killed me. Alright, let's. So Sucks. There goes one hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. But it's okay. I had like three million. Go. Well, if I can get this thing down there to you, there's a good chance you'll make it out alive. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. This guy is... Rough. You go too. That's the other thing that I don't like about... Uh, don't act all fancy and waste my time. Get on the damn thing. Oh, that's... Oh, that's get on the thing. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. You like that? Stuck here. Supposed to do what now? Tank is done. Stuck. Which is a benefit to me. But. Alright. Okay, so get a fucking thing. What am I supposed to do? This is... So the last of the run. Hey, goo at me. Oh, no, nope. I think you can do any of this.
Oh, there's a lever here. You know what? I think that was the last one, too. Well, that was... Oh, well, we're really going up. Alright, so we're up. We go back down and collect all of my loot at the least that I died for. Died for, I might as well collect it. But I'm gonna get down there and get attacked by another one of those Frankenstein. That was. Yeah. That was fun. And it just shows up right next to me, like, hey, I'm gonna F you up. Well, I mostly survived. This game is forgiving about dying in that it just lets you try again without having to start the whole thing over. Oh, what? Zombies were carrying a lot of guns. I guess I'm lucky they don't know how to use guns because. Eh, you know, it's bad enough they know how to throw corrosive barrels of I don't even know what at me. Alright, is that everything? Nope, more loot. So exciting, zombie brains. Money bag. Assault rifles. Crap, crap. Alright, let's go yell at Dr. Ned. Not to be confused with Dr. Zed, I have been assured that Dr. Ned and Dr. Zed are two different people. They sound the same. They're uh, distant relatives or something. I wonder if Dr. Ned has an actual medical license. Dr. Zed does not. You know, Dr. Zed is uh, the person we put our light hand um, uh, We rely on him. Oh, cutscene. I probably went about this all the wrong way. I'm a doctor. I make people better. I just wanted everyone to be okay. I made the zombies. I was never as good as my totally not made up brother Zed. They were totally different people. I need a drink. Dr. Ned. I'm helping! I mean, yeah, he's got a mustache, so that clearly he's a different person. He's also not in... Oh, there he is. Any machine? That's what I'm any of these any good for me? No idea. First things first. I think all this stuff is pretty much crap compared to what I have. So I'm gonna sell all of it. One thing I also miss, longbow. Explode. Yeah, they don't give me help though. 17. It might actually be better than what I have. What do I have? Oh, nope, mine's better. It's almost 700. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna take one of these med kits just in case. And how does this complain? To, com complain? How does this complain to mine? All right, so. Eh. Pistol fire rate goes up, but I lose bonuses to deadly and loaded while gaining a slight additional bonus to Relentless. Uh, again, I'll keep what I have. Oh my, this guy's seen better days. Here he is. Damn, I need a drink. My liver is crying out over here. I mean, clearly you're not Dr. Zed, because Dr. Zed doesn't have a mustache. And I mean, your name tag says Dr. Ned, not Dr. Zed. So you're definitely a different person. Well, I'm not much for compliments, but... Alright, Dr. Ned made a terrible snake and he needs your help to fix it. I'm not surprised he made the zombies. I saw that coming. Hooray! Well, if you want to help a decrepit old man who created an end of the world epidemic, you'll have to head to the old hospital past the graveyard near Jacob's Cove. You'll need to find a sample of an antidote I was working on. I based it on skag DNA since they don't seem to have undead tendencies. Get the sample and bring it to my claptrap in town. 
Oh, almost forgot. The gate key to the hospital grounds was lost a long time ago, but there is a more spooky way in. Just look for the old gravestone on the beach that doesn't belong. I hear nothing wrong with that. Let's get some Skag DNA antidote by going through the super creepy passageway through the graveyard tombstone. I mean, what could go wrong? Ned was testing a Skag-based antidote to the zombie plague. The Skags are immune to the illness, so Ned believes his antidote could be effective. Bring the antidote sample to the Claptrap in town so Ned can continue his research. Well, of course. Right. Like I said, what could go wrong? Here, I'll close the door for you so the zombies don't come in. If they somehow learn how to operate a winch. Alright, so... Alright, so apparently I have to retrace my steps and go back to the other place in order to uh, do that. Before I do, since I'm here, let's do this pumpkin head quest. Requires me to light some jack-o'-lanterns and kill pumpkin head and get his corpse. Oh, floating zombie corpses. Yeah, all right. And what's the best way to do this? Um, hmm, creepy stuff, creepy stuff, creepy stuff. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, what are the level recommendations? Oh, yep, yeah, lower level. So. I guess I'll just retrace my steps. I mean, I already killed zombies here, so they shouldn't be back just yet. I'm getting low on ammunition. That's a problem. Okay. Hopefully it won't go over my hour and a half limit that I set for this, but I don't think I've been playing for that long yet. I just don't remember when I started recording. Yeah, that looks safe. Right. What the hell? Oh. Or that can happen. Again. Make him up out of the ground. Oh! There you get. Really fast guy. That's disturbing. Very disturbing. Creepy lights on in the distance. Fucking Enderman in the background. <laughs> it's raining Enderman? No, but. <laughs> the way they're teleporting in the rain. It's raining Enderman. Better than zombies. Alright, so not sure who to go. This 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 oh 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 they saw me. You saw me. Seems to be much more effective. Again, still don't know what these zombie brains are for. Oh, uh, can I? Oh, I can't go up this way. I gotta go up this way. Of course! Why would it be the short way around? That's always the long way around. I had to head up this way. Keeping an eye out for zombies. Zombies! It's still rather interesting that they made a zombie shooter in Borderlands. Kinda like it though. It's just the right level of shooting.
Boom. Critical hits are useful. And some kind of repeater pistol. A rocket launcher. That would come in handy if I weren't using my super fancy alien energy blaster. At that checkpoint. <coughs> Excuse me. Just want to kill Pumpkinhead. But first, I gotta like pumpkins. I bet they're gonna be. Separated out all over the place. Alright, it's gonna be. Oh, zombies. Uh, let's just get to it. Hello, zombies. <laughs> I've come to say hello with bullets. It's the standard Pandoran greeting. It really does seem to be the standard Pandoran greeting, by the way. People really like to introduce themselves with bullets. Alright, there's a... Suicide one. Don't like the suicide one. There's something satisfying about shooting a zombie in the head. I don't know what it is. Oh! Whoa! You're a little jumper there, aren't you? That's not disturbing at all. Except incredibly disturbing. Even the, uh, even the regular psychos aren't that creepy. Yeah, right. so now I'm gonna make my way through this creepy tunnel to get to the creepy place. Everything's so spooky. They want it spooky, they got it. Ooh, two headshots in a row. Oh, I didn't even see the downside of this game being so dark in general. Not even just this part. Fighting a bunch of bandits clad in black at night. Not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it's probably the opposite. Alright, let me guess. I gotta go through... Oh, see, I didn't even have much of a choice here. Oh, wait, did I miss an alternate path? That would be better suited for where I'm going. I missed something. This map is just a wee bit confusing. Alright, make my way back through the spooky cave. It looked like there's another way to go. I wouldn't be surprised if I can't go that way. That, definitely that. Oh, no, look, there it is. I can go. Nope. Nope. Definitely gotta go the long way. Ooh, shops have new inventory. That's nice. That was a flower. Saw something, it was just a flower. Oh, man, they're making me go the long way around. Like, the long, long way around. There's probably gonna be another quest later on where I have to go through here later. Another checkpoint. We are at the pumpkin patch. Alright, this is where I assume I need to be. Need to go. Ooh, there's vending machines up here too. Supplies! That's what I need. Zombies! Not what I need. According to my compass, I got them all. So there's no little dot. Oh! <coughs> Just want to use the vending machines. Wait, where are they? Stock on all the ammunition. 
So as you can see, I have over two and a half million dollars. I don't really care about spending it. Ooh. Maybe three damage turns. Oh, that's exactly what I have. Alright, so where do I have to go? Uh, straight back this way. Through the creepy puddle. To the pumpkin patch. There's also a ooh, shady oaks. All right, so I'm supposed to carve. What the hell? All right, so that's just my objective. I'm supposed to carve and light pumpkins to call out pumpkin head. Um, I guess it's these two here. All right, so first steps first. Reload all the guns. Is in the demo. All right, so light you. Oh, that's that's okay. It moved. All right, light you. All right, pumpkin head. There you are. Who you are, a shaman man. Haha! Oh, your uh, pumpkins. Unless he's got some weird... Ah! <coughs> ah, and I'm stuck. It looks like it's about to explode into rainbows and glitter. Oh, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, what the... Oh, what the... I can't... Ugh. Ah! Alright! Oh, his pumpkin had flew in the air. Hooray! That wasn't too terribly bad. Some of those games where the boss fights aren't as uh, difficult as just getting stuck fighting an army of random mobs. Kind of like in Diablo, Diablo 3. Bosses weren't too tough, but when you're just wandering around dungeons getting your ass eaten out by demons, and not in the fun way, yeah, that's how you tend to die. Yeah, well, I'm finishing up. Uh, how the hell do I get back? Alright, it looks like I can shortcut it this way. But it's through a spooky graveyard! Oh, no. Oh! I am just backing up. That, that's also not fun, not being able to see through those. Oh! Oh! oh ew. Just vomited on me. What? See, I don't, I don't know what's going on now. Is it vomiting on me, or... Ah, oh, yeah, they're vomiting on me. I thought I saw an explosion. See, I don't even know what hit me there, or what's going on. This is why more 3D map is much greatly appreciated over a little Skyrim style compass. I mean, it does take up less space on the screen, but at the cost of information, this is probably going to be. No zombies? Okay, that's fine. I'm just taking a shortcut. Don't mind me. Just trying to get back to Jacob's Cove. It's not that far away. It really isn't. Oh yeah, fall damage. This game has fall damage. Borderlands 2 does not have fall damage. It's the same planet. How does that happen? How does one have fall damage and one does not have fall damage? It's just odd. It's He's there because my crosshair is telling me he's there. Other than that, auto targeting. I, I played this whole game with auto targeting on. And I don't know if it helped me or hindered me. Because whoa, where the fuck did you go? Bastard! Oh, I'm sorry. 
Okay, I see him on the map, but I don't... Are you kidding me? Ah! Whoa! Ah. Barely see him crawling around in the muck. Definitely makes the game challenging. I'm not saying it's bad. It's it's good. It's what the fuck are those gonna be for? I don't even know. I don't gotta go that way yet. I don't know if I want to go up that way. All right, as long as there's no little red dots on my thing, I haven't been spotted. I've been spotted. Uh, No, where is safe? I'm not used to enemies just falling out of the ground. I'm going to admit that. It's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted. things can do with these, uh, various zombies. Aside from kill me. That, that, that they can, that they can do. Very interesting. I need a primer. I need a, I need a bestiary. Do people go in bestiaries? Sometimes. Yeah, I just need to get back to Jacob's Cove. Oh, oh, goodness. Ammunition! Some ammunition! Oh wait, no, that's Grand Theft Auto. I screwed all the way out. Back to the way, keep my med kit. Back to the back to the way. Alright. Just gonna turn in this last quest, and I think that'll be enough for this evening, assuming I haven't already gone over my hour and a half. Oh, how the time flies. I was like, oh, I'll set myself up for an hour. That won't take long. Five hours later. South, I think. This way. Now I know where I am. Now I'm fairly familiar with this place. Zombie killer. New missions are available at the Jacobs Cove Bounty Board. Hooray! New missions. More to do. More to kill. Oh. Violent. They're the real man. Oh, he's down. He's crawling around in the muck. That's why. What the? Up on me. That hurt. <laughs> and a couple more coming around. I think I've only got two left to kill. Yep. Alright. Don't see any more little red dots on my annoying little compass. So, I think I might almost be done with this. Oh, nope. You can die now. Any more? Nope, just the one. 
just the one. It had to be annoying. But there is a nice, tidy little shortcut back into town right over here. Up, 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 up. Hooray! This place almost seems cozy after all of that. As odd as that may seem. Alright. Now to turn in Pumpkinhead. He left the body to rot in the swamp. What good will that do me? Yamatios. Do I get a new... Okay, I was specifically told corrosion is bad against zombies, so they give me a corrosive sniper rifle. Nice. Alright, and we got another quest here. Find some information about what happened to the zealot. When the zombie issue first rose, there was a lone zealot among the workforce who demanded a chance to destroy the evil that had befallen our mill. The board decided that it couldn't hurt to have someone out there trying to stop the problem while employees were being lost. The Jacobs Corporation has not heard from him since that time. There is a moderate monetary reward for determining the outcome of his endeavors. Fine. But that is for another time. Ooh, and I leveled up too, but that is also for another time. So that will be it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching me shoot some zombies and almost get killed by zombies. And hey, look, a shamrock. So, uh, see you all next time. Have a good night.